Happy guinea pig! Hi, I'm Arlene. Welcome to my kitchen. And today's video, we are doing the blackberry vinegar part two. This part is, two. So far, this is what it looks like, and it has sat now for eight, nine, ten. This is like day 12, because this is Tuesday. Thursday would be 14 days. Um, but this is, you'll see this, if you watch it today, it comes out, that it'll be on Friday. So I'll just let you know that I did uh, let it sit for 12 days instead of the 10. Okay. Now what it says to do, it says after it sets for the 7 to 10 days, pour vinegar mixture through a sieve to strain into a bowl. I'm not using a bowl, y'all. I'm just using my four cup measuring cup because I only made up a cup of this vinegar. I do have my sieve here. Strainer. Phew. It's strong. It's got a vinegary smell. Now, it does say do not mash the berries. You just collect the vinegar off of them, let them set and strain. Um, it says, do not press the berries. Let the uh, let the uh, sieve sit with the berries over a bowl. Again, measuring cup to gradually collect the juices. Now I'm just going to kind of shake that off. Because I don't think much is going to come out of it. If it does, it's fine. But it's got a beautiful color, y'all. And what I'm going to do, uh, it says use a funnel, pour mixture into a clean bottle. Yield two cups, which actually mine will only yield a cup because that was all I made. I have a small 8-ounce canning jar here, funnel, and I have my clean lid to go on this. And what I'm going to have Piggy do is uh, take this here in just a second. Now, you can let this sit for as long as you want to let it sit to see if any other juices are going to come off of it. And there's a possibility they will. But I know I have enough liquid to fill, almost fill my little jar. I can squeeze it out. No, we're not going to squeeze them. It says don't press it. Oh. Right. You mix the juice of the berry in with the... Well, the juice is... That's what the juices collected are. That's where the color comes from. It's from the berry. But they're not the seeds and stuff to the pulp. And you don't want the pulp in your vinegar. You well, just want to that seed it. if it shouldn't. But anyway. All right. I'm going to let Piggy have this. I can keep it over there. There you go. What do I do with this? Uh, dump them in that compost bucket. All right. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to pour this in my jar. And I'm sure Piggy has that set where you can see this. I do. Rinse these out for later. Oh, yeah. There you go, Piggy. Now, as you can see, that is a full jar. It's got a good half inch head space, maybe. And put my lid on it. Well, it's not completely full, thing all we have to No, we don't want that full. And what you can use this vinegar for is you can use it for vinaigrettes um, or just as a uh, marinade. You can put, put it in a marinade. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, I plan on making a blackberry vinaigrette uh, out of it, plus a marinade. Um, I will put it probably in my, I don't think I'll have to put it in the refrigerator, but I'm going to keep it in the refrigerator anyway. That wasn't blackberries? That was, what, that was raspberries. That right? was blackberries. That was blackberries. Yep. Okay. You can make this with raspberries. Um, it's the same process. I wonder if you can do that with any other berries. Strawberry, blueberry. I'm sure you can. I know strawberry you could probably use it with but uh, I my mom used to like uh, raspberry vinaigrette over her salads 
and making your own vinegar you can make your own vinaigrette to put over your salads you can make it like i said make your own marinades um, and that has a beautiful color to it and i'm gonna have piggy get me a picture of that if he would oh i might think about it and uh yeah i know this is not a very long video today but that is the process this is part two like i said this has been setting for 12 days it has a beautiful color to it i got you too just in case okay now i will not be taste testing this because um taste test to come when it's used what it's supposed to go up. right well, i'm not tasting just pure vinegar even though it's got the blackberry in it i'm not tasting the vinegar but i do want to thank y'all very much for watching the video i know there's been several that have said that they were looking forward to the second part so that they'll know how to finish that process up and again it is very simple if you want to make a full batch which is two cups uh i'll give you the recipe for that but this again is the one cup so for a full two cup batch you need 12 ounce fresh blackberries two cups white vinegar that's your only ingredients i made a half a batch six ounce fresh blackberries one cup white vinegar okay and basically what you do is uh says you wash your berries drain and pat dry with paper towel in a non-reactive saucepan meaning a stainless steel or something like that you do not want to use aluminum okay combine the berries and vinegar heat over medium heat until almost simmering then you want to cool to room temperature then you pour into a clean jar with a lid cover and let stand in a cool dark place for seven to ten days after seven to ten days pour vinegar mixture through a sieve um, to strain into a bowl again i use my four cup measuring cup you can use the measuring cup that's not a problem do not press the berries let the uh, sieve set with the berries over a bowl to gradually collect the juices and again you saw i did not let it set very long you can let it sit for however long you want to let it sit that's entirely up to you use a funnel pour vinegar into a clean it says bottle i used a small jar and it will yield one to two cups depending on how much vinegar you use Boom. all right see i got a cup mine's going in the refrigerator and you will see me use this next month in may and uh, i'll be using this in uh, some recipes then and considering, good and chill considering when this comes out on friday next month will only be one two three four five days away it could be any but time. it might still be two or three weeks after that though well it'll probably, it'll probably there's, there's, be there's a it. whole month there to play with well it'll be probably be somewhere after the first <laughs> and before the 15th <laughs> Because I've got to go grocery shopping to get everything I need to make what I'm going to make to use this with. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope y'all have a great day. Bye, y'all. We're